Good morning, everybody in British Columbia and Vicky. Good morning, everybody. Joey here talking about your weather. Caribou weather, dude, up here. Wells, BC, 3,153 feet above sea level. Chilly this morning, but not September chilly. It's 9.6 at 8 in the morning. 9.6 C for Wells. That's balmy, actually. And I heard uh, in many places in lower country it was much much warmer enjoy it enjoy all the warmth you can get because it's not gonna last long it don't matter if climate change is a real thing or not in the hottest year ever all that shit can be going on but the sun you know, you know the earth tilts away from the sun and just fucks off for the year and says well that's it it's gonna get chilly eventually eventually well how about this how about this let's say let's do something fun today um What's Joey thinking? He's thinking about snow landing on mountaintops. Ah! Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? We'll find out today on the show. Let's go. There it is. This is bad news. Oh my God. All right. Anything can happen. Get on. Wow. I'll watch the video later. They climb up in this. Hit like, share, subscribe, or the little dog gets it. What's on the bad news battle board today? Uh, nothing. Wow, hey, this sucks. I need something to talk about, Canada. Guess what, Kenny? We're still breaking records in the province of British Columbia, buddy. We're still breaking records a little longer, at least. Still breaking records in British Columbia, buddy. Okay, let's talk about the records that are being broken in British Columbia. Buddy! Holy shit! Bella Bella got up to 26.5 yesterday? That's nuts. Uh, this is wild. This is wild. Uh, this is all yesterday's uh, big time temperatures that we had, okay? Port Hardy even 24.6. Prince Rupert 24. Seashell 26.9 yesterday. White Rock 29. Uh, I think Quinnell got up to like 30. I guess that wasn't a record, though. I guess a lot of places, you know, hey, September's can be warm. You know what they call them there, uh, indigenous summers or something like that they call them. I don't want to say anything wrong today uh, or whatever. Holy cow, warm in Manitoba yesterday, too, eh? 29.6 in Barron's River, 29.5 in Fisher Branch, and 30.2 at Island Lake. Is it an island or is it a lake? No one knows. Pine Falls at 28.1 there. 20 point Pine Falls, Ontario. Hot too. Atticoken, 30. Big Trout, 28. Dryden, 29.5. That's far north Dryden. Ear Falls area, 29.5. Fort Francis, 28.7. Had a great show in Fort Francis once. Kenora, Ontario, 28.4. Howdy to my friends in Kenora. Hope you're doing okay today. Pickle Lake area up to nearly 30. Red Lake, 29. Sioux Lookout, 30.5. Wow, man. This is crazy. Is it ever going to stop being hot, Dad? No, Kenny, it's going to be hot forever until some other time. Well, in British Columbia today, we have that large low sitting up there in the Alaska Panhandle, and it's bringing the shit up there just like it was before, you know, a couple of days ago. It, oh, lucky for us, its motion, its counterclockwise motion is helping to draw warm air into BC. We're very lucky that way. Occasional towering cumulus on the coast this morning. Hey, 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 is it going to be some thunderstorms today? Yeah, possibly, possibly. That low is going to try to... Try to go somewhere there. Try to go somewhere there. Okay. I do not know what RCKY uh, stands for. I'm learning something new. I'm guessing Rocky Mountains it's talking about. I don't know. Okay. Nonetheless, uh, clouds are topping out at 6,000 feet in that area, whatever uh, uh, Rocky it means there. Boy, I'm not off to a good start today. As you can see, this large cold front moving on through. Big time cold front today. Going to be bringing a bunch of rain in behind it. Scattered cumulus in behind it. Broken cumulus. Uh, patchy sigs even. Occasional alto cumulus. That looks like a good old... Good old nasty looking thing there. Most of us in BC aren't going to see too much of it. Maybe Prince George gets a thunderstorm. Maybe up towards the North Rockies in the Peace gets a thunderstorm later today. Not out of the question. Not not beyond the possibility of 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 boy a possibility of uh that's the wrong thing. It's definitely uh possible. 
That's what I'm trying to say this morning. Oh, hey, it's Brandon Houck's Trivia of the Day today. Uh, 19% of people have tried beating a hangover by eating this. What is it? And I said, cyanide. Hey, what's this graphic there? Freezing and turbulence. That's for air. That's for pilots. If you're flying around, you might want to know about the freezing and the turbulence and whatever. But it's also interesting for my purposes as a forecaster because it tells me, without even having to look at other maps of where uh, temperatures are at, you go up a little bit higher, things are going to be cold up there today. I did notice contrails coming out of the aircraft the last two, three days. It's very dry, very cold up above us and then you're going to have this uh, large wet system slam into that should make for a couple exciting moments at least you would think well you know me i've been having just a hell of a time building the channel here building an empire not been forecasting maybe as much as i should be i should be making videos like three times a day about what's going on out there and being more reliable but we get into these patterns where it's like oh yeah it's like three weeks now of sunshine it's like let's talk about that some more joey here's another day of like well what's the forecast today well it's fucking sunny people hmm okay so what else joey well tomorrow sunny you know it's been in the end still like look at this as we go through i mean this doesn't last very long it's slamming up against the coast and making some some noise there but it really isn't uh changing the game at all in bc anytime soon what about the next one is the next one gonna change some game oh a little bit of snow up in the big mountains there up by the Eliases, uh, but not a whole lot when's the game gonna change joey wow that's some big time rain this weekend along the coast that's gonna be good for the chill coat and as you know as long as there's rain in the area i know it's a bit smokier this morning yeah i started to see it again last night we've had a few days since it took a little bit of rain there so we're probably seeing some fire activity beginning to pick up again i'm not gonna bother looking at firms this morning because it's early in the morning and it'll probably be nothing worth looking at oh there's a blue dot in the coast mountains on the 20th oh there's some more there's some flurries folks lots of rain rain up into northern bc lots of rain up and down the coast this weekend oh gross look at that snowfall snowfall on the mountaintops there this weekend gonna happen oh look at that even more of it eh? <laughs> i hope you enjoyed uh, summer because when it ends it's freaking gonna end it's gonna end hard it's gonna be awesome Wow, looks like we're going to have a rainy time here in the Caribou Mountains this weekend. Boom, that's just going to slide right on down the province. You guys need rain down there. Looks like a bit of snow in the Rockies. Looks like a bit of snow in the North Coast Mountains. Looks like a little bit of snow somewhere near the Fernie Cram Brook area in the mountains this weekend. Oof, oof, oof. And hey, hey, it's so nice weather. Nice weather. Just kidding. Oof, look at that. Even more snow this time on Monday. Monday, the weather is going to shit, folks. It's going to shit well i mean it's still kind of warm down uh much of bc but uh won't be warm here it's gonna suck here i promise you because uh that's what happens in wells that's that's why people who come and work in barkerville for the summer and then go back to vancouver they're not considered wells people because uh because you're weak and you go home when the weather turns to shit. If you can put up with how bad it gets, how fast here. Look at that. That's a lot of rain signals next week. We need some rain. Ooh, yeah. Come on. Bring it on. This is the GFS. Gives false snow. Gives false hope model. Let's have a quick run through an ECMWF model or something like that before we get too excited about what could be happening next. Oh, look at that big snow event on the 27th of September in northern BC in Alberta. I'm going to be skeptical about that. It's like 10 days away. Okay, so. And the GFS models have been notoriously bad ever since Trump came in. They're like, let's, let's just cut the number of weather balloon launches and fire a whole bunch of scientists and uh, make it hell to work in the National Weather Service and uh, make it hell to work for the U.S. government and then uh, wonder why our, our modeling goes to shit. Let's go to the Euro model. Okay, let's get into it there. ECMWF model and there I see Euro model. The Euro model is pretty good model and you can see the low is uh, kind of pushing straight up. Not really allowed to come into the province. You're not allowed in. Not allowed in. Big time uh, high pressure sitting over manitoba right now really lovely weather for them high down in the united states so uh, lots of lightning expected down there today lots of rain up and down the bc coast on wednesday maybe not significant rain no it looks like you'd have to be north of juno on the panhandle to be getting significant rain some rain possible yes some convective showers yes uh fairly warmish still in the mid 20s down southern bc yes uh even overnight 
at 8 p.m. We're still looking at 15s in Williams Lake. That's still that's pretty warm still for this time of year to have 15 once the sun's down in British Columbia. High pressure keeping established there. It's the big old block. We don't want to let you in, weather. We don't want to let that shit into here. A little bit of lightning in southern uh, BC, possible near the Rocky Mountains on Thursday. No big deal. Mostly nice weather Thursday. New low there. Slamming the coast. Man, the Alaska Panhandle just getting drenched. Just getting drenched. Well, it stays pretty nice here. Already uh, uh, it's 5 in the afternoon on Friday. 25 Vernon, 20 Prince George. Still pushing towards the 20s. While Haida Gwaii, uh, you're getting slammed this week, Haida Gwaii. I'm sorry about that. Uh, day off on Wednesday, sure. A little bit of rain on to, uh, Thursday. But then right back to the slamming on Friday that you've been getting uh, the last number of days. You get a day off today, though. And then uh, back to the slam for you. And then Saturday by noon. Oof, look at that heavy rainfall up and down the coast. Oh boy, Joey, are you going to say it? Are going to say it? Going to say it? Uh, yes, that's Atmospheric River. Yes, I got to say it. I hope everyone is terrified and shitting their pants and, and ready to give all their money to the government. That's what I hope as a weatherman. I like, like, what do people get so upset? If I say fucking atmospheric river, it just as conf- astounds me and confounds me. I don't understand why that's something worth getting so upset about. People are like, he said it again. <laughs> I get so mad about it. Like, dudes, it's a fucking science term. Like, it, it means water vapor is transporting in a long, thin, narrow beam, uh, mostly towards the same location. It, 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 they used to call that a, a pineapple express. Just because I like making dipshits feel like dipshits. I mean, uh, I don't know if there's there pineapples in Madagascar. Would you call that a pineapple express? It's not coming from Hawaii, but it's an atmospheric river. There it is. Uh, what else we got out there? New Zealand, a little bit. Not really. Oh, that's a good long, but that comes from Papua New Guinea. They probably have pineapples there. Uh, there's not any good examples right now of one that, that doesn't coming from a warm place, but that doesn't mean I'm not right. Okay, yeah, that's an atmospheric river. That's what that is. That's what that is. Is there any other on Earth? Aha! Here's one. There's a good look atmospheric there's an ar coming right towards iceland from the middle of nowhere uh there's no pineapples in the azores so wherever this uh that's where the azores are right there more or less where the atmospheric river is kind of coming up to towards the bottom of greenland and uh towards iceland i said iceland i don't know why it's greenland i don't greenland is white though it is an iceland and uh iceland has is more green than greenland is i can see if we can figure that shit out so atmospheric river up the coast there gonna have some big time rain totals northern vancouver island tip quite possibly up towards uh bella 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 coola uh wherever that purple ends up be if someone gets that purple you're gonna get really really wet uh mice nice weekend for the rest of western canada it's just us that uh, have to experience this shit oh look at that she slides on down and drenches vancouver island look at this i should i should look at the video like uh, the forecast modeling before i start talking about it that's one of my great problems i have on this channel is i just uh like well if i'm gonna look at it i might as well talk about it too and then she moves in on sunday and brings us a bunch of precip into the province maybe a few flashes of lightning and there's a new low it's a pattern repeat pattern oh boy if that could really dig in and become like the pattern look at that big atmospheric river on monday if that could become the pattern again we could have a really good snow winter. I would love it. Bring it. Bring it. We want the big snow year this year, eh? But check that out. Between now and next Tuesday, what kind of rainfall totals we looking? 250 mils up on the BC coast. High to Gwaii. Going to get just drenched. Maybe 200 mils there. Uh, you know, kick that with a grain of salt. Probably over 100 mils on northern parts of Vancouver Island in some places. Big time rain. Look at northern BC taking 60 mils uh, in that Highway 16 corridor. East of Prince George, 60 mils, 50 mils, 41 mils up through the northern part of BC. Strangely dry. Well, not that strange. It's a rain shadow there in Fort Nelson. Uh, very dry. And uh, this one little pocket right there, Dog Creek Reserve or somewhere there, uh, Alkali or something like that down there. Um, yeah, everyone taking some precip coming up. So, yeah, a little bit of smoke on the horizon today. A little bit of smoke out there. Still a couple warm days. Still staying kind of warmish for the next little while absolutely but uh as you can tell we are getting very very blessed with the warm we're getting very very blessed with 
with the warm weather, the warm weather carrying lots of moisture there. Very warm in southern BC for the next bunch of days. Very warm. And then uh, door closes through the weekend. Does it come back again? I would love it to be warm next week. Yeah, yeah. We got some nice days still next week, I think. Temperature-wise, for those of you in southern British Columbia. That's it. I said too much. I'm out of here. Bye now.